You're in for a treat today. We have a special guest, and we're going to answer a bunch of viral problems. Yes. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi everyone, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This is a very special video because we have a special guest right here. If you don't know him, this is Dr. E. Peter Esperanza, our very own Pinoyan. Kahit na Pisoy. <laughs> Kahit na Pisoy. Mukhang hindi Pinoy, pero Pinoy na Pinoy po ako. Yeah, he's from Number Bender. He has his own YouTube channel, so you can check it out. Ilalink ko sa baba. At I scroll din natin dito. And uh, Dr. E, tell us a little bit about yourself then. Hello everyone. First of all, I want to thank Miss Laika right here for uh, inviting me sa channel niya at mag-collaborate sa paggawa ng math videos dahil yun yung passion namin dalawa. And I'm so happy na nag-meet na kami finally na kasi akala namin mag-isa lang kami gumagawa ng mga content na tulad nito. And now, we're teaming up, we're collaborating, and uh, this is just the beginning of our many projects together. Yeah. And uh, yes, thank you. And uh, yes, ako po si Number Bender. Ako po si Dr. E sa mga students ko sa California. Nagtuturo po ako ng math sa high school at saka sa college level sa Barstow. Uh, for ilang years na? Yes, yun na nga, sasabihin ko. Parang, sasabihin ko ba? Magka, but, Eight, 18 years na po. So, 18 years na po ako nagtuturo ng uh, mathematics. Uh, so, when it comes to experience na education, I think lamang lalamang si Dr. Ay, so, love it. So, ano tayo din? I mean, we definitively, we have a, an expert right here ngayon. Kasi we want to put an end, I feel, dun sa, again, joint naman kami dito sa Endeavor na doon. Put an end dun sa confusion. Sa mga viral videos, eh, vi viral mass problems na ito. Huwag na kayong magtalo-talo. Hopefully, ito na ang huling video na papaloorin mo tungkol sa topic na yun. At huwag na rin kayo makapag-away sa mga teacher at sa mga kaklase ninyo. Yes. Okay, so Dr. E, start na tayo with the first one. The first one is actually very, very, uh, ano ba? Medyo, medyo basic tong una eh. Umpisahan natin sa basic. Kasi sa math naman, kailangan natin umpisahan doon sa mga maliliit na problems. And then, tsaka natin i-tackle yung mas challenging na problem. At yung problem number one natin is 230 minus 220 divided by 2. So, kung sasagutin ko yung problem na yan, pabalik ako sa basic and yung fundamentals. Ang fundamentals ng... Um, order of operations is uunahin nyo muna yung mga operations like parenthesis, exponent, and uh, susunod yung multiplication division, and then yung addition and subtraction. Uh, Doon yung... Uh, mm, Kapag sa start. So sa case start. na ito, kaya siguro nag-aaway-aaway kasi inuulan nila from left to right. So ang ginagawa nila is they add it first, so ginagawa nila, eh, they need to subtract it first, So, ginagawa na 230 minus 220, which is 10, tapos tsaka nila dinidivide sa 2. Kaya nakukuha nila is 10 divided by 2, which is 5. Pero, Dr. E, ano ang tamang sagot? Hindi po 5 ang mm. tamang sagot dahil may mga, um, um, may mga operations tayo na pwede ang left to right. Yun eh kung ang operations lang doon sa equation nyo ay plus and minus or multiplication and, and division. division. So, pwede kang mag-left to right kapag yun lang yung operations na gagamitin nyo sa pag-solve ng math equations mo. And in this case, hindi po siya addition and subtraction lang or multiplication or division. Meron po siyang subtraction and then division. So, in this case, kaya po tinatawag na order of operation kasi may order tayong sinusunod may hierarchy pagdating doon sa mga math operations na uunahin natin and then yung susundan nung mga naunang yes. operations. And in this case, ang ating uunahin ay yung division. division. So actually, start from the right side here. So 220 muna divided by 2, which will give you 110. And then yung 110 na yun ang minus mo sa 230, which should give you 120. Yes. So, yun po yung tamang sagot. And we are 100% sure dyan. Kaya huwag na kayong makipag-away. Huwag <laughs> na kayong makipag-away. Again, it's not 5, it's 120. Alright? Yes. Okay, now, dito na po tayo sa medyo mas, ano ba? Mas madaming mas operation at mas... Mas hot topic. Yes, mas hot topic. Natanong. Nakakatawa may hot topic at chismis din pala sa mass. I know, right? Kala Hindi mo ko showbiz lang, ha? No. Ginagawa nilang showbiz ang mga math <laughs> equations. But, yes, take... 
use sa gumagawa ng mga math problems sa to uh-huh. kasi um, dito kasi na mas mas nagkakaroon tayo ng platform na maging discussion, discussion. Mag, mag uh, open siya ng doors for or opportunities for, discu- for discussion opportun- opportunities for discussion sa mathematics mm-hmm. I guess the very best rare. questions Mangyari. get you to asking din eh. So the best questions would make you ask na, paano nga ba ito gagawin? Or ano nga ba talaga ang tamang sagot dito? Which is what we're going to do. Yes. Today. So yung next problem natin, Dr. E, 60 divided by 5 times the quantity 7 minus 5 equals. So dito, gagamitin natin yung order of operation. Pero hindi natin syempre gagawin yung left to right technique dahil so, ang daming operations na nakikita natin dito. Meron na tayong division, meron tayong subtraction, meron pa tayong parentheses na ultimately yung parentheses is spreaded than siyang operations of multiplication. So, in this case, gagamitin ko yung order of operations at ang una ko nakikita dito is parentheses dahil nasa PEMDAS. So, parentheses muna yung uunahin ko. So, yung grouping symbol na yan na 7 minus 5 ay magiging 2. So, yun yung una yung step. And then, pag sinulat nyo yung inyong simplified version ng equation nyo, oh, magiging... Yes, yung second level niya would be 60 divided by 5, parentheses, 2. two. And again, yung parentheses po ay multiplication operation sa mathematics. Iba't ibang notations, no. pero pare-parehas lang same ng operations. So, siguro, we, what we could say would be, it's the same as writing it like 60 divided by 5 times 2. Yes. Okay, so, hindi, siguro hindi kasing, parang ba, hindi kasing pareho lang kapangyarihan yung Parenthesis that means multiplication. Sa parenthesis that means grouping. Okay? So, by the time na bumaba siya sa level yes. na yun, multiplication na lang ang ibig sabihin niya. Mm-hmm. Which I guess is the point of uh, contention dito sa tanong na to. Kasi some people, they don't go 60 divided by 5 first. Ang ginagawa nila 5 times 2 first. And kung yun ang ginawa mo, your answer would be 60 divided by 5 times 2. 5 times 2 first, 10. 60 divided by 10 would be 6. So, ang sagot nila is 6. Pero ano po ang ano, opinion nyo, Doc? So, dahil nga meron tayong leveling na tinatawag, yung first level problem natin na change or na modify dahil sinimplify natin yung grouping symbol naging yung 7 minus 5 naging 2 na lang. So, mapapansin nyo dun sa second level natin, kung yun na lang yung pagtutunan nyo ng pansin, yung equation would be 60 divided by 60 5, divided times, by 5 2. times 2. So, multiplication and division na lang yung natira dun sa level 2 natin na equation. So, ang gagamitin na nating rule would be the left to right yes. technique. Mm-hmm. Kasi, yun na lang yung natira. Same level na sila. Same weight. Same priority na yung dividing tsaka multiply. Mm-hmm. Alright. So, isa-solve namin with you guys. So, it's 60 divided by 5, which is? Which is 12. And then, times? Multiply natin by 2, two which is? 24. 24. Okay. So, sa amin, it's 24 and not 6. No. Hindi po siya 6. Okay. Kasi, um, again, ang, ang tingin ko dyan kasi, pagdating sa order of operation, ang lagi nating goal dyan is to simplify yung mga complex expression at kailangan na level down nyo sa, yeah. siya into additional subtraction lang or multiplication or division yeah. lang. Kasi yun yung mag, 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 mag lead sa inyo ng left to right technique. Mm. Oh. So actually, huwag kayong masyadong nag-fixate sa itsura ng symbol, dun kayo sa meaning. Alright? Parang sa boilet din, huwag nag-fixate sa itsura, doon kayo sa meaning. Yes, sa substance. Yes, the substance. Sa value. Alright. Okay, so that's it. So for us, it's 24. And now, next question po. Ito, medyo fresh pa. Kaka-viral-viral yes. viral lang Ito this year. Ito Yeah, and actually, Dr. E, his entire uh, discussion on this, I will link it sa baba na lang din if you want to watch the full discussion. But the question is, 8 divided by 2 times the quantity 2 plus 2. So I guess everyone knows 2 plus 2 ang uunahin kasi yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So now you have 8 divided by 2 and then times, or naka parenthesis, 4. Okay? Now again, that just means times. So, ano po ang tamang sagot dyan? Tulad no previous example natin na natira na lang po ay division at multiplication na operation sa ating problem. Mm-hmm. So gagamitin na po natin ngayon si left to right. Yes. So, 
8 divided by 2, which is going to be 4. And then, i-multiply nyo siya by 4. So, meron po tayong 16. 16. So, ang sagot namin dyan, again, definitively, is 16. Okay, dalawa na kami, yes, ha? Dalawa 16. na kami. Hindi po siya 1. Oh, hindi siya 1. So, um, again, always remember, ang goal lang sa, oper sa order of operations is to get it as, uh, down to as simple as possible. And then, if pareho na sila ng level ng priority, you can now go from left, left to, to right. right. And that's straight from Dr. E and, yes. uh, well, Coach Laika. Eh? Of course. So, from Laika. <laughs> kaya, nagkakasundo kami dyan. Dalawa dyan. na po kami. Yes, kaya magkasundo na rin kayo. Magkasundo-sundo okay. na po tayo. Tama, tama na po ang debate at marami na pong relasyon na oh, ang masira. Pagkakaibigan, mga pagkakaibigan. teacher na, na naguluhan at also inaway ng studyante. Mm -hmm. yes. So, yan na yung definitive na answer namin to those questions. And hopefully, sana kung may mag-viral man sa susunod, hindi na siya mag-cause ng that much of a stir. So, I think uh, one thing that people struggle with is they get discouraged pag mali yung sagot nila or iba sa mga friends nila. Okay, so tag nyo na yung friend ninyo, share nyo to sa friend ninyo na nakikipagtalo sa inyo. Yan ang aming definitive na sagot dyan. And that's, I think, the last video that we're going to make on this to topic sa vital questions na ito. And then uh, now we can move on to the harder stuff. So again, yes. Dr. E has a lot of content on calculus, advanced mathematics, and other things like that. For you guys, especially in NASA college, go check out his channel. Ano po channel name again? Number Bender sa YouTube. And nakikita niyo po yung... Uh, 700 plus math videos ko in English and in Filipino. Okay, so you can get to choose whatever language works best with you. Kung gusto yung explanation in English or explanation in Filipino, Number Bender has your back. So, okay. yes. so and I guess that's it. If you want more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So, subscribe na rin sa channel ni Number Bender and uh, we'll see you soon. As we always say to this team, never stop learning. Aja, aja. Team Laika. And we'll see you soon. Bye, Bye -bye. for now.